Today I'm going to be making a doormat and I'm going to be using my um, aura mask stencil here. So I went ahead and I cut my design out and I weeded it to go ahead and make it to where it's going to be a stencil. I'm also going to be using a multi-surface uh, black paint. So I'm going to have that on hand. Now I've watched a couple videos of people making doormats before using this same stencil and it seems that a lot of people are struggling with getting it to be able to stay down to where you don't get the paint to like seep underneath. So I had this idea and I really don't know if it's gonna work. Y'all are gonna find out with me. I am going to try to use my little Cricut mini press here just to kind of give it a little bit of heat to see if that will help maybe help it stick down a little bit while I paint. I don't want it to completely adhere because I wanna be able to get it up, but I wanna see if that maybe might do the trick in helping make it bleed a little less when we make the doormat. So this is either gonna be a great idea or it's gonna be absolutely horrible. So you guys are gonna find out with me. So let's go ahead and peel off our stencil and find out what happens. And I'm gonna take this part here and I'm gonna um, do this, peel it off gently. Now I will go back for like the letters that have little pieces in the middle, the O and the E. I will come back for that, those little pieces. So don't lose those. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one here. All right. And then I will come and do these little pieces and then just stick them back down where they belong. And same with the E. Now I'm gonna do the same for this as well. Mine just says home sweet home with a little couple of swirls. So let's go ahead and do that and I will be back once we are finished. Okay, so moment of truth, I have it heated up, my Cricut Easy Press, I have it heated up to on the lowest possible setting, and I'm just gonna lightly press it down here. Ooh, yep. <laughs> we are going to use that really did, okay, very small dabs. Just in the places that you see it's having some trouble. Sticking down, so as you can see, if you leave it down any real length of time, you are going to cause it to bubble and start to melt. And that is not the goal. The goal is just to create a barrier basically to where it will not bleed. So it didn't melt anything. The bottom of my iron is still fine. Um, everything is okay at this point. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it a little further. I'm gonna take a foam brush here and I'm going to take the black um, paint that I showed you earlier, which is that multi-surface for the indoor outdoor use. I'm gonna put a little bit on my foam brush and I'm going to dab again in the same motion that I was doing with the, um, the Cricut Easy Mini Press is the same thing I'm gonna do basically with the paint. All right, so now the paint is on. Let's go ahead and see if it worked using the Cricut Easy Press Mini. Ah, it did. Oh, that's gonna be a lot easier. Okay, so now just peeling that off. Then once all of this is off, um, I'm going to go, <laughs> Ugh, should have thought that through, Let's put that somewhere. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my pick here and I'm gonna go ahead and go back in, my little weeding tool, and pull off the inside parts of the letters. 
and it did not actually stick too badly with the Cricut Easy Press Mini. It adhered it just enough to make it so where it wouldn't bleed, which is exactly what we needed it to do. So peeling that off, and as you can see, certain letters, you know, I probably should have gone a little bit darker on, um, but I'm gonna go and take a, a smaller paintbrush and then go back through and fill that up. And that will basically be our doormat. So once you're done, the only thing that I'm not gonna show you here is you do wanna use some kind of sealer just to make sure everything is good and then you have your completed doormat.